Okay, hello and welcome to the video. In this one, we're showing you how to write off a bad debt in MyOB. So basically, a bad debt is when you've raised an invoice for a customer, you've sent it to them, and they're just not paying. You've sent reminders, you may have even threatened to get the debt collectors onto them, or you may just have decided it's not worth chasing up, and so you're going to write it off at the end of financial year. So let's go have a look at the sales register. Okay, we can't see any sales here, so we need to open up the dates. And I'm thinking back, and I'm pretty sure that it was in July. So we're just going to open the dates up for the search criteria to the start of July, and we'll refresh. And there it is. This is the offender. 660 bucks for work we did, and we're not getting paid. Bloody fantastic. So here it is. We can see here it's sales gone through for 660. We're going to cancel out of that. And what we need to do, well, the first thing we need to do is make sure that there is a uh, an account set up in the chart of accounts for bad debts. So let's go have a look at that. So I control tabbed back over to this other screen. That's a handy little way to flick through your open screens in my old control tab, control tab to flick through the windows. We'll go to accounts, account list, expense, and let's search for bad debts. There it is. That's the account we want to use, 61500. If you're not sure how to set up a new account, if bad debts wasn't already set up and you need to set one up for it, check out the link above. It shows you how to set up expense accounts in the chart of accounts. So I'm going to escape out of here and go back to where we were into our sales register here and what we need to do is create a new sale. So often bad debts are written off at the end of financial year but for this case we're going to write it off as of today being the 25th of November because we just know it's a lost cause and we just want to get it off our books. So you create a new sale for the same customer this is our test customer here the date today's date and we're saying write off invoice one and we go to the account number here and we know it's 16 1500 as we saw just before bad debts and it's for 660 but we need to put this through as a negative so we're going to go negative 660 because we need to reverse it out of the sales register and we're, by putting in a negative sale is the equivalent of an expense. Or if you know your debits and credits, a sale is a credit. The opposite of a credit being a negative is a debit. And expenses are debits. So you can think of it that way as well. So we've got negative 660, the GST, the account, writing off the invoice. And we're going to go record. We can escape out of there. Back to the screen here. And we can see there's 660. For the invoice number one and invoice number two is the write-off that we just processed so to actually write it off against the invoice to get this status saying open removed from the system we want it to say closed it's dealt with we go to returns and credits and here it is the credit we did the bad debt we just processed and we can go apply to sale and then we can see here the invoice number one the customer name matches up, which you have to do to be able to match up the um, the credit, the bad debt transaction to the invoice transaction. If the customer is different, as in a different card, then you won't be able to do this. So be careful of that. And then we're just going to click in here. And tab, and out of balance should go to zero, as it has. So we've got invoice number one, amount 660, applied 660, record. We're going to go, oh no, we'll go back to all sales. And we can see now that the status has gone to closed. Now what will happen is when you process this bad debts transaction, it will at the same time process the sale for cash basis purposes. If you run a P&L on cash basis before we did the bad debt, the sale wouldn't have showed up because it hadn't been paid. Cash basis reports don't show sales. 
But now that we've processed the bad debt and written it off against the original invoice, this 600, when you take the GST out, it's 600. That'll show up on, on the cash basis reports as income, but there'll be a corresponding expense item under bad debts for 600. So income 600, expense 600, and it nets off to zero, which is what has happened. So let's go have a look at the P&L to illustrate what I'm talking about here. Reports, profit and loss, which is under the accounts section if you're not there already. And because the sale, well, let's run it for November and I'll show you what I, was, what I was talking about with the cash basis report. So this should show us the bad debt in the expense section, but it won't show us the sale because this is an accrual basis report and the sale was in July, if you remember. So we can see there, there's no $600 sale, but we can see the 600 bad debt. Now, if we change the date here to July, and run report. Now you'll see that 600 sale and the corresponding 600 bad debt. And if we go run a cash basis report, so the cash basis report is probably what most of you will be paying your tax on, which just means you're paying tax and GST based on what money has been physically received or physically paid, not invoices or bills that are on the books but haven't been paid. So if it hasn't hit the bank, it's not affecting your tax. That's what cash basis is. Accruals basis is everything, including invoices that are on the books but haven't been paid. So let's run that report for November. And if what I was telling you was correct, then we should now be able to see that 600 sale coming through in November on the cash basis report. There it is. 600 income. 600 bad debt and the net result for that invoice and the write-off is nil. So that's it for the video guys. I hope you learned something here. If you want to book in a training session, head over to the link in our description and go over to a website and we can organize a tailored training session for you and your workplace. If you're interested in learning more about Myob, go check out our channel. We've got a bunch more videos that hopefully will be of assistance. And apart from that, I hope you enjoyed it, learned something. We'll catch you later.